welcome to one chemistry always try to do your best now let us see about cartier's rearrangement we will see basics mechanism and 14 important problems stay tuned what is inside this video we will see what is cartier's rearrangement and basics of it and mechanism behind the rearrangement and controlling factors and 14 solved problems from various examination here i given unique example for complete understanding what is Cartier's rearrangement? It's a conversion of vasite into amine. The isocyanate is the intermediate here. We are using the heat. The intermediate isocyanate formed from the removal of nitrogen. Here, R group shift to nitrogen. CO and N2 removal is there. That's why product is one carbon less. Here, the catalyst can be light or heat. Both will work. It removes the nitrogen there. What is the mechanism? Mechanism is a concerted single step mechanism. First you write acide with complete charges. Then applying heat N2 removes. You have nitrogen formation. Then the nitrogen has to be quenched. Then R group migrates. You have isocyanate formation. Then water attacks. You have acid formation. Since the reaction in heat CO2 removal there, final product amine will come. Since nitrogen and CO2 eliminated, final product is amine there. Here driving force for this reaction is nitrogen quenching. It is like a radical. It has to be quenched by anyway. We will see some facts about Cartier's rearrangement. The first fact is migrating group will possess the same configuration. That is retention in configuration. Here migrating group is the chiral carbon. After the migration you will have same configuration. S configuration don't change. Product also S configuration. So reactant and product both are in same configuration, that is retention in configuration. Then the second fact is final product tunability. The isocyanate is the intermediate, you can tune the product based on the next reagent. If you use the water, you have amine. If you use the methanol, you have carbamate. If you use the amine, you have amide there. So you can tune the product by second reagent. Then the fact 3 is acid preparation. Many methods are known. The acid can be prepared from acid or acid chloride or ester or anhydride. The reagent can be SOCl2 and azide or hydrazine and nitrous acid or DPPA. DPPA is diphenyl phosphoryl acid. It's acid donor. So once the acid form, you will convert it into amine there. So acid can be prepared from many methods. The question will come with this twist. We will learn from the problem. The problems will help you to deepen your understanding and clear your doubts. Here are given 14 problems from various examinations. Here the trick will be just remove the CO and write the amine there. The first product is a kind of binaphthal system and you have acid there. You are using SOCl2 and azide. You are converting into acid then heating it up. So final product is the amine by Cartier's rearrangement. It's easy. Second is retention of configuration. First you are using the chiral carbon. You convert acid into acid. Then the Cartier's rearrangement. Here all configuration don't change. Retention of configuration occurs. Then the third example. You have acid and heating it up. You have isocyanate formation. But the interesting fact here is there is a chance of ring formation there. So the amine is inside the system. The intramolecular attack will be there. Ring closure will be there. So O minus form of the attack. Then the heat oinol. You have kind of cyclic amide system. So if there is a chance of cyclization, it will definitely occur in this system. Then the fourth example. This is the problem in the plant side. Here you are converting acid into isocyanate, but phenyl group is silent there. If you write phenyl group clearly, you will have here also electron attacks the carbonyl system. Then you have six member ring formation. The same heat in ultramarism and aromatization happen. Here you have final product. Here driving force is aromaticity and cyclization. Here the final product is with 10 electron, which is aromatic, which drives the whole reaction. Then the fifth example, it's a kind of indole system with acid in the side chain. Again the chances of cyclization, so isocyanate formation, the ring electron attacks, you have again aromatization and the ring closure. So the final product is amide with extra ring. 
then the next and the important example sixth one it needs strong imagination you are having the bicyclic system with aside the here the same cartridge rearrangement isocyanate but you are using the tertiary butoxide which remove the alpha hydrogen which is near to CO then the anion attacks new ring closure occurs since the system with many rings the strain has to be released so what really happen is the OH attacks the, the ring is opened on CO side so what really happened CO becomes COH ring is opened there so what really happen is you have fused ring system from the bicyclic system here I give a number for you to follow up. Then the seventh example, it is very easy as it you convert it into acid and final product is cartridge rearrangement product which is amine there. The cartridge rearrangement also work in the heterocyclic system. Then the next one, it's a kind of benzylic carbon. You have acid chloride converted into acid, then you have final product benzylamine. Then the ninth example, simple benzoic acid, you convert it into acid using DPPA, it's the acid reagent, it produces the acid there, so it converts and you have final product amine there. Then the next example, we're starting from the anhydride, you are attacking with acid, you have acid formation and finally cut is rearrangement, final product is simple amine. Then the eleventh example, you have side chain ester, you are using the hydrazine and you have hydrazine substituted product. Then if you use nitrous acid, it converted into acid. So the same reaction, the Cartier's rearrangement occur, final product I mean. Here you are using hydrazine and nitrous acid for the conversion. Then the twelfth example, you have cyclopropane system with acid, you have final product is the amine without ring opening. Everybody expect ring opening because of ring strain. Since the mechanism is concerted, the ring don't open. So final product is simple amine there. Then the 13th example, acyl bromide. Like acyl chloride, the product will be there. Conversion of acid, final product is amine there. Then the 14th example, you have acid in the benzyl system. So CO removal also possible even with the sp2 carbon, you have final product amine. Let us summarize the facts what we have seen. The Cartier's rearrangement is a conversion of acyl acide into amine there. The intermediate will be isocyanate, actually through nitrogen. Here all group migrates through nitrogen. Since the mechanism is concerted, it is intramolecular. The chiral carbon don't change during the reaction, hence the retention of configuration. The final product, which is tunable by second reagent, always look for the chances for cyclization and aromaticity. That's all from this video. I hope it was useful. Thanks for watching. If you have any suggestion, comment below.